about cut back. Cut back. Yeah. yeah. Hello, my friend. Yeah. Hello, my friend. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna learn though. I'm trying. Yeah. My mom is trying to. Yo, we're here uh, with my boy Shad Spence. He just finished his set. Um, how's it feel, man? Be uh, here at the Head in the Clouds. And just got off stage. It was really good. It was good. Yeah. To be performing and uh, it's, it's all love in the crowd. So. So, um, where does the name Shot Dispense come from? Name Shot Dispense comes from back when I was in uh, school, uh, like ninth grade. Uh, all my friends would call me Shata because I, I grew up around a lot of Caribbeans. Okay. And that's the term in Patois to make me Caribbean language. Gotcha. And um, basically, it's, that was my name back in high school. And it also stands for stand, uh, standing. I mean, soaring high over the turbulence, always. Okay. Strong-hearted Oriental, triumphing through adversity. Soldier helping others triumph through adversity. Spreading harmonious understanding through the Almighty. So it's a lot of acronyms for it. And um, there's a lot of meaning. That's my name, yeah, but my name is Spence, Spence Lee. That's actually where I was gonna um, yeah. transition to, because I'm seeing YouTube, social, uh, all your social media yeah. is transitioning to Spence Lee. So yeah. what, um, what inspired you to kind of it's just time to, you know, shot to Spence. A lot of people know me just like as just a rapper, and you know, it's time to expand the brand. Like my music is gonna get bigger. I'm gonna get bigger as an artist and as a creative. I'm getting into all the different things, and it's just like, like Bruce Lee. I'm just gonna use my real name. But, yeah. Uh, what's the first thing you do when you wake up every morning? Pray. Yeah. That's a big deal for you. Yes. Yes. Yes, I pray every, every single day when I wake up. And I pray throughout, my whole life is a prayer, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like my mom, she kind of like instilled that in me, like, I always pray, I, like, before you complain to anyone, or before you talk to anyone, talk to God first. So that's just been in my um, DNA since I was a little kid, so that's, you know, a big part of it. Like, every day I'm talking about everything, everything I do. And you, you show a lot of issues to your mom, uh, especially when you tell people about the story, and yeah. her journey. Why is that? Why is that so important to you to share her, her journey and her story to your fans? Man, because uh, you know the media and movies and these directors who are not our people, they're not going to tell the real stories of how what we come from. Right, right. We come from greatness. We come from royalty. We come from uh, ancient cultures, beautiful cultures, and um, we also come from a lot of tough. Situation, very tough situation, right? And especially Vietnam, like that was a civil war first. Then you have all the world powers getting involved because of the political resources, yeah. all of that stuff, you know. And um, people need to understand that too, like, uh, like, like, like we're, we're we've been through some shit. Like that's why I yeah, that's right, like, right. like think that's a tough game. Been to Vietnam, you know what I mean, like. I'm grateful to be in America. I'm grateful Absolutely. to have the life I had because I know my mom had to go through the worst, the worst shit. You know what I'm saying? So I always lean back on that. Like my mom triumphed through the toughest situation, right? Like she got separated from her family for 20 years, for 30 years. Got separated from her family for 20 years and like getting, um, didn't contact her parents and her family for over almost 30, wait, yeah. 30 years because they thought she was dead because they got separated during the war and like, but she survived. She raised my brother, my sister on her own, you know what I'm saying, with the help of her, her family, friends, all that stuff, and like community and like, it's just a strong story and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's very inspiring to me because that's, that's like the strongest person I know, Yeah. right? And. Um, Vietnam is just, it's a beautiful country, it's paradise. Everybody wants to go vacation here, but they don't know the history. So I always lean back on that because like, man, anything I go through in life, anything I go through with, with my, yeah, with like my era, it's not ever gonna compare to the struggle that, you know, the Vietnamese people who came from the war, the refugees had to go through and that's like, and that's like, it's ingrained in me, that toughness, the grit, the adversity, the faith. So, um, you uh, yeah. still recognize that and appreciate that. There's, that's 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 a beautiful thing. And I want to yeah. talk about when was the last time? When was the last time you journeyed back to Vietnam, and what was that like? 
think it was like 2011. 2011, yeah. yeah. Okay. 2011. Yeah. I'm Very first there. time. No, that was like my fourth, fourth time. Fifth time. Oh, okay. I've, I've been there a lot. I've been there more than any other country. So, uh, what does it mean for you when you go back? I love it. You know what I mean? Um, seeing my, my family, seeing my cousins, my grandma, and grandpa, they just passed away, so that's a piece them. Um, you know, like my grand, my grandfather, he, he, uh, he was like my grandfather. He owned like he had the family. They had like a school in Vietnam. And when the communists came, they took everything. They took the school, they took the church, everything. And like, but it's a lot. He had eight kids. You know what I mean? A lot of folks back then. Yeah, they, yeah. they got a lot of kids. A lot of kids. Eight kids. I got eight aunts and uncles. Like, and it's like it brings you down to earth. Like I love the, I love going to the beach, of course, out there, and you know, being amongst the people, going to Saigon and doing all the fun stuff, right? Driving on the motorbikes. On the motorbikes. Like, yeah. Seeing my cousins. Slapping geckos off the wall, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like shit like that. Like, um, and yeah, it's overdue. I need to go back there soon. Um, what is so? What is your favorite Vietnamese food, and why? This is the salmon, not the salmon, the fish in the pot, the clay oh, pot. Oh, So it's uh, it's called gai pao tho. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is that's fine. Right. And then of course pho. Love pho. Yeah. Uh, I don't eat pork and stuff anymore. But right. when I was a kid, it was. Yeah, with the pork. And, uh, what made you, uh, what, what was that choice? Uh, what was life for you to make that choice to not eat pork? Uh, I don't eat meat. I don't eat really. Meat. I mean, I eat fish occasionally, but I just all the way cleaned up my diet. I'm, a, I'm heavy into running and working out, and like, I just feel better. You know what I'm saying? It, uh, I had I had health issues with like my skin growing up, and the only way to do to solve that without prescription medicine and drugs is still and cream and all that stuff was for me to all the way lock in on my diet, high, high fruit, vegetable, herb diet. What is to you, to you, to shout it, what does success mean? Success means to use the gifts and the special unique skills that God gave me to serve God, the mission he gave me, live in my purpose and help as many people as I can, starting with my family, and then whoever else I can touch, and that's success to me. So if I can do my music, do my art, be myself, speak, speak kindness, and speak power into any individual that's receptive to it, and it helps them to better themselves, or have a better outlook on life, or feel good for a moment, that's success to me. You got a new album coming out? Is that, yeah, is that yeah, what's going on? Let's yeah. talk about that. October, we're dropping that album. October? Yeah. It's long awaited, man. It's long awaited. So tell me, what, what, what? What's, what can you share about the body? It's got all different type of music. Um, you caught my set, you know, I do the melodic stuff, I do the rap stuff, I do the groovy stuff, I do the aggressive stuff, I do the vibey stuff, so it's it's a, it's got an array, a vast array of frequencies on it. And um, it's gonna show all the flows and melodies and versatility that I have. And of course, the production's gonna be top tier, you know, we got a lot of um, the ear drummers on the beats. Awesome. My brother Kassian on the beats and um, my brother Marshall on the beats. So it's high level production, really high level and eclectic. Um, Spence Lee and 88, how, do, how did this kind of came to be? So Mike Will, um, was, Mike Will linked me up with 88. We talked, I talked to Sean. Um, I like his mindset, Yeah. vice versa. And we, we're gonna do big things. So we have big plans, just beyond just Beyond this music, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do big things in the world. Awesome. Yeah. Um, performing in Vietnam, expand on that. What would that mean to you? Whenever. You ready? Yeah. Like, I love Vietnam. Vietnam is just like, <laughs> I love Vietnam because you know what it is? Like, everybody in Vietnam is like, they, 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 they're like, they're hustlers. You know what I'm saying? Like, they hustle. They hustle. Like, it's like got the highest rate of entrepreneurs. Like everyone got their own business, everyone is self-sustaining. And they're like turned up. Like, I don't know if people don't really know about Vietnamese people. Like, you, can, you know when somebody's Vietnamese. You know what I mean? Like you know because the way they the, they talk with their chest. Oh yeah. They're like, they're loud, they're unapologetic, and that's that's a beautiful thing. And, and of course, it's beautiful people. I'm gonna speak to all everybody over there in Vietnam because I know I've been talking about Shadi Spence, Spence Lee. He's gonna come to Vietnam. We're gonna bring the bring my boy here out there and Vietnam. everybody, Saigon, Da Nang, Phu Quoc, Saigon, Hanoi, Hanoi, everywhere. Da Nang. We 
Ram 2023, Big Q, 88 Risings. We've been talking about this man. Let's get the new album out. 